Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. I've gotten a lot of messages lately about forward programming and setting up forward programming in your new PNP plane. Plug and fly, plug and play, one that doesn't come with a receiver. And you want to have your maiden flight have safe select and you want to make sure it works. Just as if you bought a bind and fly. So, let's go step by step, forward programming from start to finish, and we'll do it in small increments. This video, we will mount the receiver, bind the receiver, and get the orientation correct in the plane. So here we go. First things first. This is my test plane. It doesn't fly. It's got color-coded control surfaces, so when we're talking about stuff, you know, I might say, hey, take a look at the right uh, green aileron, etc. The little blue flag represents the motor as it sweeps. It's like you're giving it throttle. Okay, we need to mount the receiver. And the receiver can be mounted on its side, upside down, flat with the pins to the back, the pins to the front. But the receiver needs to be square and it needs to be as close to the center of gravity as possible. So, you, and when I mean square, it needs to be straight, not like that, and not on some crazy angle. It needs to be mounted flat, however, you're going to mount it, and perfectly straight, as straight as you can get it. And I'm using double sided sticky tape, and you don't want a thick piece of sticky tape because you don't want any chance of the receiver rocking you know so if you use the big bed of velcro then it can rock back and forth and that'll mess up your AS3X or your safe select so a thin piece of good double-sided sticky tape and I'm just gonna lay it there and I didn't press hard I'm just I'm eyeballing it That looks square to me. All right, let's bind this guy. We're using the AR630 receiver antenna list. It has a button for binding. So I'm gonna hold the button down and turn on the plane. You can see that the receiver is flashing and then we'll bind it. You can see the TV there has my IX12. And don't get thrown off that I'm demonstrating with an IX-12 and get kind of scared that you know, you're know you going to get confused or it's not going to help you because it looks different than your generation 2 and newer transmitter. It's the same, it's just the, it might be arranged differently. See right there, that, that is the same in the, no it's not the same, in your DX-6 uh, or what have you it would be straight down in a line. This way it's two columns versus one column. So you'll pick up on it pretty easily. So we have the plane bound. And there's my throttle right there. Okay. Now, if your receiver is forward programming capable and the firmware is updated and your transmitter is forward programming capable and updated, then you will see the forward programming in your menu. If you do have forward programming capable receivers or transmitters and you do not see the forward programming in your menu, then one of them needs to be updated. And with that being said, if you have a forward programming capable transmitter and you bound it to a an AR6210 receiver that does not have forward programming, then the forward programming will not show up in your menu. It's only there when your receiver and your transmitter both capable and both updated. And you must have a throttle cut set in order to go into forward programming. I already had one set. If I didn't, a screen would pop up saying that you need to 
you know, establish a throttle cut before you can go any farther. For the sake of our video, I'm going to reset this receiver. Factory reset, apply, and complete. All right, so gyro setting, first time setup. This is where we're going to get the orientation. And you need to make sure that your model has been configured. Okay, your travel, your servo direction, your dual rates, all that stuff is already set up. So, you know, I know you don't want to fly it until you know you have safe select, but just for the sake of getting to where you can set up forward programming, you need to make sure everything is done. When you pull back on the stick to make your elevator go up, the elevator goes up. When you push right on your stick, the right aileron goes up, etc. And all your travel adjustments and, and directions and dual rates and your uh, flaps and your landing gear, all that needs to be set up as if you were going to fly the plane without Safe Select or AS3X. Okay, then we're here at forward programming. Next. Just like I went through, make sure your wing and tail type and channel assignment and all that is set up. This is where we're going to set the orientation of the receiver and it says set the model level and press continue. If you are doing forward programming in a tail dragger plane like this one, when it says set the model level, right now it is not level. So you need to make sure your plane is in level flight. You know, get a level, have awesome eyeballs, whatever you need to do, the plane needs to be level as if it is flying like it should at the right speed and so on. Level flight, okay? That is very, very, very important. Back to our test plane. It is sitting level. We're going to press continue. Hold the model nose down at 90 degrees. That's not 90. That's not 90. This is 90 degrees. All right. Now, it has decided how our receiver is mounted. And we have it to the pins facing to the rear. The Spectrum logo is faced up. The bind button is towards the front, just like it is on our plane. So we can confirm that. Continue. And apply. Okay, the receiver is mounted, bound, and the orientation is set up. All right, guys and gals, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll do flight modes, and then we'll just continue on until we get AS3X and safe, select, and safe Select set up to where you can go take your maiden flight, and you know Safe Select is going to work. So, all right, guys. Hey, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, well, hold on. This FMS Avanti Jet, right above my head here, were given to one of you as soon as we get to a thousand people, a thousand subscribers, and we're about 60 away, so pretty soon. All right, hey, once again, the next video coming up is flight modes, be a part two of the forward programming, and until next time, well, Ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. You'll see me here. All right. All right. Adios.